All those new blockchains are popping up to replace Ethereum and its high gas fees and low transaction throughput. They all claim to be more efficient, more scalable, more secure, and just better overall. But it's not too big of an achievement to get over the 15 to 30 transactions per second that we have on Ethereum. So there must be something really special about the blockchain for it to be actually useful and to mean something in the current technical situation. And SUI might just have this something new to actually be useful. The reason why SUI is that fast is because it divides assets into two different categories of objects. There are objects that are owned by individual users, and then there are those that are owned by multiple users or they do not belong to anybody specifically. So, those that are owned by individual users, they do not call for the execution of the smart contract protocol. That means that, the, for example, payment transaction or asset transfer does not call for the transaction protocol and therefore it can go very quickly with very low latency of the blockchain network. And those that are owned by multiple accounts, those are separate, uh, a separate object completely from those that are owned by the single user and those require the smart contract execution and all those validating proof of stake and all of that. So those take a bit longer, but because they are different objects, this is executed in parallel. So now let's get into the parallel execution, which is the main holy grain of uh, SUI. The way it is set up in SUI is that each transaction is an independent separate object, and those objects can be executed in parallel if they are causally independent. So let's say somebody is minting an NFT and somebody is transferring the assets. And those objects can be executed in parallel because they are causally independent. All the SUI validators execute the transactions in parallel using a Byzantine consistent broadcast agreement. And as the developers called it, it's like a two-way handshake between the requester and the validators who are proving the transaction. And that's how they achieve the such high rapid speeds of uh, over 120,000 transactions. SUI is based on a classic proof-of-stake consensus with the users, validators and delegators and low gas fees. In this sense, it's quite similar to Solana. And actually, I found another similarity with Solana is the parallel ex execution. However, the parallelization of uh, the transactions in Solana is happening on each individual single node. And here it is more on a system-wide level and the whole approach is quite different. So, Although they are similar and the names of like parallel execution are similar, the parallel executions are themselves, the principles are different. I hope you understood that and now let's get into the SUI token because that's probably why you came to this video. The total token supply of the SUI token is going to be 10 billion. There is going to be a public sale right before the mainnet launch, however no specific dates or information has been released yet. So we should stay on alert for that. So who is building SUI? Mr. Labs. This might not tell you much because SUI is their very first Web3 project. So let me tell you a bit of the backstory of the company. Basically, there was Facebook who created DM. And everybody in the crypto got scared because it's from Facebook, oh no! And it's coming for all of us, but no, basically DM got shut down and the developers got into two projects, Aptos and Mistin Labs. And those are not connected to Facebook or to each other, and they are just completely separate entities of ex-developers from Facebook. So yeah, the developers are from Facebook, however, they are completely building something new right now. The only reason you can think that SUI and Aptos are connected is because they both use Move programming language for smart contracts. And now let's finally get into the investors, because they collected over $36 million already, and it was just the Series A. And all I can tell you is that A16Z was the lead investor. <laughs> that's all you need to know, basically. But no, we are still going to talk about them, because uh, that's quite a list. Because we have the A16Z and the Redpoint as the lead investors. Coinbase Ventures, Electric Capital, Standard Crypto, Flow Ventures, out of the famous ones that I know, Samsung Next, many of them actually also invested into Alio and I'm rooting for Alio for quite some time as you might have known because I'm also an ambassador in Alio and these um, companies seem to have a, quite a, a view of uh, what kind of uh, things are going to be in the future like they're investing into zero knowledge and into this kind of uh, high scalability layer one solutions something more on a foundational level. The idea of SUI is really appealing to me because like, you do not need the layer 2 anymore. They are aiming to create such a layer 1 that you do not need the over complexity building on top of it. You have everything on the foundational level. So if you got interested in SUI, what can you do now at this early stage to participate and show your interest? Well, of course, you can join the Discord and the activity there is always appreciated in crypto projects. 
There is also a public devnet running, you can participate in that. It is not incentivized, but it is nice to get acquainted with the project if you want to continue developing on that or contribute to it in the future. You can also set up a full node for SUI, however, it is not incentivized yet either. Nevertheless, it might be beneficial to show your passion for the project and your interest because in August they are going to run an incentivized uh, testnet. Stay on lookout for the alerts on Discord and on Twitter. And that was it for this project. Thank you very much for watching. All the links are in the description. See you in the next one.